This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. You join me in my car on the A419. That's right, we are stuck in traffic. <laughs> Not how I planned on starting this video. Yeah, we're just, we're stuck on the A419. We ain't moving. So that's good. Great. Anyway, when we do eventually get to work this morning, <laughs> um, we gotta go to London. So I've just had a look on uh, Facebook and it says there's a serious accident up ahead and it's expected to be shut for several hours. I'm hoping we can get let off here at Blundsdon, but it's going to mean taking a, a longer alternative route into work this morning. But yeah, once we... Um, what is that noise? Once we get to work, um, we've got to go to Victoria Park in London. All points east is uh, is where we got to go to today. Just the one run, so it's an easy day today. So it's not going to cause too much issue being in this traffic, but... Obviously, the sooner we go, the sooner we can finish. Right, we have made it back to the yard. I say back to the yard. We weren't here in the first place. Um, we were supposed to be at our collection point for half past seven. It is now eight o'clock. <laughs> we haven't even started work yet. Um, hopefully, by the time we get in the truck, do our checks and get through Swindon, hopefully traffic's kind to us going through Swindon. Um, fingers crossed we could be there for half past eight. So, only delayed for an hour. So, yeah. Like I said, I think I've got a relatively easy day today anyway, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. Just depends uh, if the place I'm going to to be loaded has to be anywhere else or not. Right, here she is. Let's see if you remember her. There we go. I say that because it's not my truck. Well, it used to be. In fact, actually, all of them used to be my truck, including that one over there. This one used to be G16. Um, we're in this one. I've got an issue of mine. It's actually currently in the unit over there uh, with its body tilted up. <laughs> it's got a um, a return fuel pipe issue or something. It's a really simple fix, just waiting for the part. It should be done today, actually. Uh, so basically, it's leaking diesel. We had to get it recovered and brought back. Um, they were not happy where we were going. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're in this one. It used to be G16. It's actually for sale as well. So um, hook up Harry and Sons if you want to truck that I used to drive. <laughs> right, let's do some checks and then we can crack on. Okay, checks are done. Your destination at 8.25. Sat-nav is destination set up. Oh, I've got no armrest in this one. If I keep forgetting, there's no armrest in G16, which is uh, extremely annoying. Also, the aircon doesn't work uh, in this truck, which means the window is going to be undone for a, uh, a large amount of today's video. Um, hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay, fingers crossed. Although it does get a bit windy, but I do have a wind mic thing on as well, so. Testing. Um, so yes, we are on our way now to PTL in Swindon to get loaded. What exactly we are loading with, I don't know. We've done a few, well, it's gonna be toilets, I know that, or it could be sewage tanks. So I've, I've done this run to Victoria Park about six or seven times now this week. And um, out of all the times it's come from Swindon, it's either been white pods or sewage tanks. So I would imagine it's going to be one of them. If it's six sewage tanks like I took last time, it's probably the hardest to do because there's 12 straps. Well, they're all crisscrossed. Um, they're probably the hardest to do. Then you've got lots of roll up as well. The easiest ones would be um, all the white pods, because if it's only three of them, then you only need uh, six straps. So six straps over, bish, bash, bosh, done. Uh, or it could be the green um, plastic units, which would normally take 22, which would be 11 straps, which I know is, um, well, it's less than 12. So yeah, again, so it's easier. But it's also quicker because there's less to roll up, just up and around as opposed to just across. And I'm probably rambling. You've probably got no idea what I'm talking about, but yeah, basically, if we can get away with taking three pods, three white pods, that would make our day a lot easier. A lot easier. Um, got to try and find a gap now to the right. Swindon appears to be extremely busy today. Ooh, got a gap, we've got a gap, we've got a gap, we've got a gap. 
so yeah we've only got the one run planned it's uh, a good two and a half hours to three hours each way so um yeah we're going to be probably using about six hours driving by the time we get back the boss said that we need to load up for monday when we're finished i've got no idea where that is going to be loading from that'll be something we can sort out later on but um yeah just the one run into into london so i'm planning on doing or trying to, to get a bit more driving footage in uh, otherwise it's going to be an extremely short video does that look like it's going to rain up ahead that looks like it's close to raining yeah but i always planned on making a video today i didn't plan on it starting how it did <laughs> so but hey these things happen um what can you do about it eh? what can you do those cars are blocking the roundabout so I can go and that lorry out there can't. So yeah, unfortunately, Monday, uh, I took out my truck, G14, to Victoria Park, which is where we're going today. And uh, upon arriving, I was like, I can smell some diesel. I can smell, I can smell diesel. And uh, yeah someone said you got you got a leak i got out you know like when you get out you're like i know what that's going to be but I, i'll go and look anyway like oh, please don't be it though please don't be what i think is going to be put my fingers on it sniffed it i was like yeah that's diesel <laughs> um in fact i said an f word first i was like yeah that's diesel so they were not happy at the site because i was leaking diesel on site they um they had to get some cloths soak it all up and everything they refused to let me start the engine refused to let me move uh we ended up having to get it recovered and um took her back to the yard and uh, that was on monday and um, yeah we've just been waiting for this small part the boss has got it tilted up now i've seen it yesterday it's tilted up he's got the part taken off ready just waiting for this part to be delivered um it should be today and then i would imagine over the weekend they'll get that fixed and monday i'll be back in my truck that's um that's what i'm hoping um as, as nice as this truck is there's it doesn't have all the driver comforts <laughs> that my truck has like uh a microwave for example uh aircon <laughs> so oh, oh and also this only does 53 miles an hour it's it's the slowest truck on the fleet but what can you do what can you do not long now though until we get the new iv codes i'm pretty sure i've said and i i think so i think i've given enough hints but yeah uh, i should be getting an iv coup end of september no end of yeah what month are we in we're in August. Yeah, end of August. Start of September. Fingers crossed. Should have a brand new Iveco S-Way. Got a, uh, a few little surprises in store for it as well. Been speaking to people. Got things organised. Um, yeah, some, some things are happening. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that. Um, yeah, it's going to be... They are really nice looking trucks. I've never driven an Iveco. I know they get a lot of hate. I know they do everyone always says oh but it's an iveco that's bottom of the list that's no not much better than a daf etc etc look i've never driven an iveco so i couldn't tell you uh i have driven dafs mans scanners volvos uh renos i've dri driven most of the trucks and to be honest none of them really bother me like it's a truck <laughs> i ain't i ain't that fussed on any, on any of them to be honest with you um so I'm sure this Iveco will be just be an Iveco. Oh, and Mercedes as well. I do like the Mercedes, I must admit. That's probably only because it's more technical with your mirrorless cameras. I know a lot of drivers don't like the mirrorless cameras. I do. I like that. I like the uh, intuition. Intuition? In, I don't know if that's the right word. I like the modernicity of it. <laughs> just making up words now. I um, Yeah, I do like it. So I know the Iveco has normal mirrors, but I, it is slightly more advanced has an Alexa built in, I believe. I believe it does have an Alexa built in. With regards to the number plates, um, so I believe, because this, this used to be G16, this truck that I'm in right now, the number plate's taken off. So I believe it was going to be that. And I say was because I have bought a number plate for it and it's been put on the truck. I'm going to have my own number plate on, on the S-Way. You'll have to... Um, I'm not going to say what it is yet. You'll have, you just have to keep watching if you want to see what it is. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's, 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 it's slightly unique. 
looks like. So I spoke to Kieran just as I was uh, walking into the yard in between video shots. And he said he's also on his way to Peach House Windham uh, from Shippenham. So he might be here before us or he might turn up slightly after us. He did say that he suspects I'll be there first. So we might see him, we might not. I would imagine if we don't see him on the way in, we'll probably see him on the way out. If he's outside waiting for us. Hopefully we can get let in as well. Oh, <laughs> that's the other thing. On my last video, a few of you mentioned um, I nearly hit the gate. Yeah, it's a really, really tight entrance and uh, you've got to keep an eye on the left so the front of the trailer swing don't hit the gate. And then like, once, as soon as you've cleared it, you've got to look right. And I was like, oh, I am a bit close. So yeah, there was a, there was a moment in my last video where you can clearly see I, it shook me up. <laughs> um, I, was, I had a, oh shoot moment, but it happens. Anyone who says it doesn't happen. Oh, there is a truck in there. It's not Kieran though. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is Kieran. Yeah, he's beat us. And he's got pods going on as well. Little ba- Anyway, we're just down the road. Just down the road and wait for him to come on out and then uh, and then we can go on in. Lovely job, Nick. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are starting to be loaded. We've got, uh, I think they're like urinal tanks going on to store, well, to store piss, basically. <laughs> um, so we've got these going on. I think they're going four high. One, two, three, four. So it shouldn't be any higher than the cab, I wouldn't have thought. Won't be much higher. And then two XLs, I think he said. I can't remember what XLs actually are. So something on the back. So yeah, we're just, uh, just getting loaded now. There you go, that fourth one going on now. It's gonna be nowhere near the, uh, the height of the cab, so that's good. Uh, yeah, the XL are the, I think we've got three XL black tanks going on. So I go on the back end. So yeah, let's start strapping. Right, we are now fully loaded. We're just uh, strapping it all up now. So these tanks are easy to do up, but they're just they're a little bit more time consuming because um, there's more strap to deal with. <clears throat> Rather than going up and over, you're sort of going across the bed. It just means you've got more strap <laughs> to, uh, to sort out. Plus, because they're going on the hooks, Sometimes you do this side up and it comes off on the other side, which is a bit frustrating. Which they have on a couple of the other ones. Okay, and we're done. This is the load. So we've got three of these tanks and we've got four of them tanks on the front. Um, so yeah, easy enough. We're gonna make our way to London now and get this dropped off. I will see you in the cab. Right, in the truck. We have lift off. Let's put the seatbelt on. I keep going to put the armrest down, there's no armrest. Right, I think we probably will get stuck in traffic on the 419 at some point. If we, I'm probably gonna go down to Cape Water and then get on the A419 that way, so it's only like a mile to the motorway. That should then hopefully mean we miss most of the traffic, if it is still there. There's not really any other way we need to go, or can go, because we need to get on the M4. We could go all the way to Bassett, but then we've got to get then, uh, that's just more driving. Plus then, there could be a lot of queuing on the M4, I don't know, so. Yeah, we we go via Coat Water, go past Swindon Hospital, <clears throat> and then uh, get on the A419 that way. I think that's the best way. So I have a say in two and a half hours. That's not including traffic. Spin a Rooney. Find the trailer on the building. Spin a Rooney. So yeah, man. Um, we're going to make our way towards London, Victoria Park. We go M4, M25, come in on the M11, and then I believe it's A12, A, A12, A11, I think it's right. Go past London Docks area, almost, I think. It's like a building with like a, it looks like an upside down skateboard, don't know what it's called. Um, 
And then, yeah, we go, there's like a McDonald's on a roundabout, turn right. We go through an 18 tonne weight limit, but that's the way we have to go in. That's the way we've been told to go in. Um, and then straight over a few more roundabouts in Victoria Park, then is on our right hand side. That is the route of which we are taking and the route of which you will see. Um, well, the end of it anyway. <laughs> And see, uh, we'll see how many vehicles want to try and undercut us and cut us up because it's a common occurrence in, uh, in London. We'll just have to see. So yeah, so that telling us to take a left here, um, go on the 419 southbound, spin round at the April 20 roundabout, come back northbound. Don't know why Satnav always says to do that, always does, always has. The quickest way to go is right, go via Cape Water and then approach the 419 that way. It's always the quickest way. It's like local knowledge, isn't it? I mean, it is signposted about M4 this way, which is where we want to go. But yeah, Saturn now seems to think if you go left, it's quicker. But I don't think it is, because you have to go back on yourself, so. Yes, anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I shall see you when we are a little bit closer to London uh, in a few hours time. It should be nearly lunchtime. Well, maybe half 11-ish, something like that. Maybe quarter to 12. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we are still a mile away, well, a good couple of miles away actually. This is where we start navigating traffic. It gets a little snug on this roundabout. <laughs> that moped just now tried sneaking around the left side of me. It's ended up coming down there and going down there. Don't hit my mirror. Don't hit my mirror. So yeah, we've got to come in this way. This is the way that we've been asked to come on in. Lots of buses are uh, pulling in and out all the time. See, there's a bus there in the middle with its indicator on. Is it the indicator or is it hazards? It's hazards. But like, you can't see the left one, so you think it's trying to pull out. But yeah, never mind. <laughs> 20 mile an hour limit, I'm doing 20 miles an hour. There is a speed cam on the left and there is a motorbike undertaken. Oh, he slowed down, look, look at that. Just for the speed camera. And now he's gonna speed up. <laughs> this road's quite quiet today. It's been, been quite busy all week. Not the case today. Horns blasting. I haven't heard any sirens yet. That's uh, unusual coming into London. So you've just, uh, you've always got to keep an eye out. These lanes aren't the widest. You can squeeze down the side of a bus, but they're not the widest of lanes. We are staying in the right lane because we are turning right at this junction. Green light. This red light up ahead for us is green to go straight on, red to turn right. They change so quick. And then take so long to change back to green again. But we'll, uh, we will make it. And then also, when we do this right turn coming up, for some reason, people still start crossing. Green lines. Keep an eye out on these motorcyclists. No one crossing. We're good. Someone's got on that bus, he's gonna start indicating right. There we go, look. I knew he was gonna indicate right before he did. I flashed him, mate, come on. Yes, I uh, you've just got the plan ahead, innit? I knew he was about to indicate. And that's the thing with bus drivers. Sometimes they indicate right to say they want to move and then they don't move, but he, he did move straight away. So, fair play. Now that bus is pulling over again. 
Do we have enough room to get in front? We do. Traffic is moving up ahead. Try and time it so we can move with the flow. Nah, not gonna happen, I don't think. Didn't I didn't want to come to a complete stop. I should have maybe have slowed down a little bit sooner. These lights change quick as well. I think it might turn green and we may not cross in time. Annoyingly. Is it gonna go red? No, we're making it, we're making it. Go around this car, around we go. Spot on. We've got some zebra crossings to contend with now. I think there's four zebra crossings before we turn right, which is only about half a mile up the road. We'll make that one. Scanning ahead for people crossing. There is no one. We can just keep our momentum going. Do three checks. the moped off you go just need this car to go slightly further forward so we can make the roundabout i have got to take a slightly wider turn to get the trailer around and then angle ourselves for this one and we have to use a bit of the road to get over on this or as the trailer hits the uh the fence so this um zebra crossing sometimes you get cyclists and runners just run straight across You are on a zebra crossing, mate, so if you want to go. Yeah, there's a couple of cyclists coming over now. Look, they just run straight across, ride straight across. It's a bit annoying, to be honest. We just edge further forward. Now I've got two more runners. Yeah, you just run across, mate. We've just been waiting here for like five minutes nearly <laughs> obviously not five minutes yeah that one's a bit annoying but has to be done and then we're turning right into this place here red gates ironically there is no red gate on red gate in we go ah Kieran's there, he's not unloaded yet. He's uh, not the truck in front, the one in front of that. I love it how they point <laughs> to say uh, park here. Yes, mate, I am. This lorry is also reversing. He's reversed past the point where this matey boy's told me to stop as well. Okay, okay we're going to park directly behind Kieran now. Hello, mate. You alright? That's it. Yeah, we'll do, mate. <laughs> um, there's a bit of diesel, look there. That, I don't even see that little patch down there. It's been covered in. That's where my leak was with the first truck. Then I come here with the second truck and now I'm here with a third truck. <laughs> Bringing all the trucks. <laughs> right, let's go speak to Karen. See what he's got to say. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, 
Buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay, so we are in. Just waiting to be uh, to be offloaded. We're just taking the straps off. We do have one strap, which is refusing to undo. This one here. Uh, so I'm hoping they can just push it this way a little bit, a bit closer. That would then alleviate the pressure, so I can undo it and just take the strap off and then sort it out. Um, otherwise, it would mean cutting the strap. But should be all right. I reckon we can scoot it over and then take it off that way. Yes. Right, we've got it done. Kieran, come over. Between us, we got it done. I say between us, it was it was actually mostly him. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got it off. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, Kieran has just uh, been unloaded. So I'm next. We are unstrapped, ready to go. That wind's picking up, so I don't know if you can hear me. But yeah, good to go. Right, we're just waiting for Kieran to move and then we're going to move forward. There's not, uh, well, there is room, but there's obviously not quite enough room on the side of me to get that forklift down the side. So, here, move forward. There's a bit of an opening just in front, and then they'll, uh, they'll tip me there. I wonder what that is then, like satellite phone signal? Something like that? I don't know. Anyway, second tank coming off. Lovely. Just getting tipped over there. I'm just gonna go be nosy. I like being nosy behind the scenes. No one in here. This has got to be like a bar or something, innit? Beer kegs on this one. Servers over there, maybe? I don't know. Looks like a really nice marquee, mind. It's gonna sound weird. It feels nice. <laughs> really weird thing to say. It feels nice. <laughs> uh, in intent promotions. There you go. A little bit of promotion there for you. Oh, I know that says productions. Oh man, I need to learn to read. Final tank coming off. And then it'd be just uh, just them left to come off then. I'll be honest, I don't really know an awful lot about this festival. It's called All Points is East or something. I think someone said something about Stormzy is here or something on the first night, I don't know. So, not my cup of tea. Obviously I've heard of him, but not my cup of, cup of tea music wise. But uh, I know he's very popular, so. Yes, must be, a, must be a big event. There's a couple of stages going up, I think. One there. I'm pretty sure there's more going up over there. Yes. Like this looks brand new. Like, yeah. it. Like the ropes look shiny, it's all shiny, it's all really like, it looks brand new, mate. It really does. Good tent, good tent. Right, we're tipped. Let's get out of here. We've got our escort right in front. Take the IVs off, we ain't gonna need to wear this now for a little while. ETA to, uh, to Chep is about half past three. I say about because I'm going to get caught in traffic somewhere on the way. In fact, I won't make up any time either because this truck only does 53, so... Um, we we're probably... Get my mic set up. We we're probably talking more like four o'clock before we're in chat, so... It's a bit late, especially if we're going to be there for a few hours. Hopefully we can get loaded straight away, fingers crossed. But if we are there for uh, two or three hours, which is normal, we're talking seven o'clock-ish, maybe even eight o'clock before we leave. So we'll just see, I've got my tablet, I've got some food, I've got some drink, not much drink actually. Kieran is on his way there. I'll probably give Kieran a call when I'm like half an hour away or so. And if I if he says it's busy, then I'll probably stop at memory services and get some drink. And uh, that'll do me then for the rest of the evening. Hopefully it's quiet, fingers crossed. Just, it's hit and miss with Chep. Sometimes you can be there for hours. Sometimes you can be there for like an hour and that's it. Right, 
Matey boy in front of me on the walkie-talkie, just double-checking we can go out. It's one in, one out, basically. The gate's only big enough for one truck, and you can't meet on the bend, so it'll be confirming with traffic control that I can exit. And then he should move over to the right and let me through. Lovely. Got a lorry coming on in as well. Just scouting ahead. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Are you stopping there? And we want to go left. Oh, there's a rigid, it's going very slow. Rigid wants to come in here. I am indicating, <laughs> he's going left or right. I've been indicating for ages. Cheers, mate. And we're clear. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. So yeah, we just got to get out of here now. It's not too bad. Just got to be careful on the old runners and cyclists because, like I said, they just don't stop. We can make it if nothing comes on the right. We're good. <laughs> they just don't stop. And then to get on this roundabout, we need to be on the other side of the road. Is that bus coming down here? I think he is. So I need to stop and give way to him because I need to be where he is right now. And we need to give way to this lady who's already looking across. This lady on the right definitely wants to cross the zebra crossing. No, she doesn't. Okay. She was looking. Where's this van going? I've committed now. I need to be on this side of the road to make the roundabout as the trailer cuts the, uh, the fence on the right. I mean, it is a give way line, but okay. Lovely. We need to indicate right, but it will look like we're turning left. <laughs> Just to get the trailer around, because we've got to keep to the right now to make this left turn. There we go. It's a bit, a bit of a snug roundabout for a trailer, but as long as you indicate, which I do, if people are looking, then um, there shouldn't be too much confusion as to what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, out we go now, out we go. We're going to head to Chep, like I said. Really hope it's not busy there. But if it is, it is. We're just... It is what it is. Windows will be down. I'll probably lay down in the bunk or whatever and just chill out. It's normally 20 minutes for every truck, give or take. And if we're all the way at the back by the gate, which I suspect we will be, then we're going to be there for a few... A few hours. <laughs> which is annoying. Green light, let's go. Let's go, 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 baby. This is another turn here, so I'm, I'm going to turn left at these lights, provided they stay green, and people still cross the road. Am I going to make it? Yeah, we're making it. I've committed now. Committed to the turn, and as you can see, people are crossing, like I said. But you just got to be aware of it. I'm just going to get a bit snug here. Red light. Amber, green, I guess it's green. Can't quite see when you're at this height. That's, <laughs> that's something I don't agree with. These, these traffic lights, so there's quite a few traffic lights not like it. They got like slats that angle down. You can't see the light in a truck, you can't. You see a red light and that's it. If the, if the red light is off, you just assume it's green. Um, in a car, you'll be able to look up and see through the slats, but in a truck, you can't see it. I don't know whether that's um, been designed like that or not, I don't know. Hopefully you could see that on camera as well. Because the, the, this GoPro here is at my eye level. So, yeah, I mean, these, these green lights you can see, but those ones back there, go back. Could you see them turn green? Because I couldn't. Go and have a look. 
bus up ahead indicating left. We're going to get in the right-hand side lane. No, bus is indicating right now, so we're going to stay in this lane. We have no reason to move over. Although we will stop up ahead, he or she. Person crossing the road. Very slowly. And it's funny when people cross the road and they start running and then they stop halfway, or well, they start walking halfway. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. They start running and they just walk. It's like, well, you've started running, mate, you might as well just continue. Cyclist on the light, on the left, mate, cyclist on the right. Just keeping an eye on all vehicles. White car behind the motorcycle. White car behind the motorcyclist on the right. Toyota. Couldn't get my words out then. Bus up ahead is indicating right to swap the lane. Is this bus going to indicate left to stop or is he going to carry on? Looks like he's no, yeah, he's indicating left. So yeah, I'm just trying to like read traffic before it happens so I can prepare myself. So I anticipated him to stop there. I was keeping an eye on the white Toyota behind me to see if there was a gap for me to get into lane two and there was. And uh, when it come to it, I wasn't rushed, I wasn't flustered, I was ready to go. It's just about preparation, isn't it? Those lights might change in a sec. So yeah, we're on main A roads now, 40 mile an hour limit. Um, these roads are pretty boring, nothing really interesting is going to happen or nothing really interesting to see. So I'm going to go. Nice. And I will see you in two and a half hours, give or take. It should be around about four o'clock. I'll see you in a bit. Right, you join me in Swindon, just around the corner from Chep. Uh, I, uh, I already know for a fact it's going to be a long wait because Kieran's already uh, arrived and um, it's queuing up outside the gate. He's gone back to the yard and he's going to load up tomorrow. I have asked if I can load up tomorrow as well, but um, I'm not allowed. Got to be loaded today. So uh, we are going to be in for a very long wait today, this evening. Um, I mean, if it's queuing up up to the gate, yeah, we're looking at three hours, four hours minimum. Plus there's a shift change as well at this time of day. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Probably not looking uh, to be getting back to the yard until eight o'clock, maybe nine o'clock, maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see. It's a bit, um, it's a bit frustrating. That lorry's just turned out on that car. Yeah, it is a bit frustrating. I've not been home. Uh, sorry, well, I have been home every day this week, but I've not been home until, um, like, pretty much 8 o'clock at night every night, minimum. So even though I've been home every night, I haven't really seen the kids because they've been in bed. So it's been a bit of a rubbish week, to be honest. I don't, I don't like finishing late. But, hey, that's transport. That's the industry. You can't dictate what hours you work. There's no one queuing up to the road. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we are right at the back, pretty much. So, yeah, uh, I mean, probably gone down to three hours now, maybe. Maybe three hours. It's still, uh, it's still a long, going to be a long wait. But oh, like I said, there's not a lot you can really do about it. Um, you got to just try and be positive. You know, I will be relaxing. <laughs> the next few hours I'll be on my phone I'll be on TikTok I'll be watching stuff on my tablet so like it is sort of semi-relaxing but also it's time that I could be at home do you know what I mean so yeah I'm going to um, undo my boots with a zip at least and then if I need to jump up on the bed then I can and I can just have a little lay down and just relax <laughs> it's uh yeah it's just a, it's just the nature of the job isn't it nature of the job we were doing really well. Like we've been, <laughs> it's an hour. It's an hour later, just over, uh, maybe an hour and fifteen minutes, and we've gotten. We're third in the line right now. Um, so we were doing really, really well. The trouble is, right, we've been sat stationary now for about twenty-five minutes, and we haven't moved, which is annoying. But hopefully, in another hour's time, we'll be out of here. It is currently now twenty to six, so um, yeah. Probably looking, probably looking seven-ish. I would have thought. Hopefully, I don't. Want, I don't really want to be any later than that. 
back to the yard, turn around the corner, and then sort of get home by eight o'clock. It is what it is. It's been an easy day today, mind. A very easy day. Um, ooh. I've only got until nine o'clock. We're going to do a 13 hour shift today. This week has been a very, very busy week. Like uh, I mentioned earlier, that I, although I have been home, well, actually, no, I've done one night out. Yeah, I did one night out this week. But every other day, um, I did go home, but I didn't get home until like eight o'clock at night at the earliest. So it's been a very, very busy, long week. I've used both my 10 hour drives this week. Um, I've, I've had all my reduced daily rests. Uh, which is why today I can only do a 13 hour shift, not a 15. Um, yeah, I've <laughs> it's just been a really busy week. Uh, the week's flown flown by, flown by. Um, but I've also I'm also ready to go home now and enjoy the weekend. Do you know what I mean? It's just uh, yes, it is. It's one of them where you have good weeks and you have bad weeks. And although this week has flown by, it's not been a great week. I've been stuck in traffic. I've had trucks breaking down, you know, I'm not even in my truck right now. Um, so yeah, look, looking forward to getting it back. Hopefully we get this on sooner rather than later. Kieran, who um, was in front of me, but he's gone back to the yard, he's going to get loaded in the morning now, tomorrow. Uh, I just spoke to him and he said he wished he stayed now because of the progress I've made. Um, like I said, normally from the back of the gate, you're, you're here for three, four hours. And I've been here just over an hour and I'm, I'm only two trucks three trucks behind the next one in so yeah hopefully not too much longer 20 to 6 hope let's let's aim for half six out let's hope that's probably quite hopeful thinking okay we're in we're in and we are about to be loaded happy days i'm just doing some paperwork for the week as well should have done it earlier but never mind <laughs> um yeah five past six just gone this will be loaded in like 15 minutes and then we'll probably spend another 15 minutes strapping up. So it'll be after half past six, I would have thought, before we leave. Okay, we just left. We just left. 18.40 pretty much right now. So yeah, not far off. I did say half past six tonight, hopefully. We're out. Uh, it's 10 minutes past that. We should be back in the yard by seven o'clock. Uh, assuming there's no traffic going through Swindon. We've got two options to get back. We can either go around Swindon, i.e. on the M4 and then 419, or we can just cut straight through Swindon, which uh, I'm leaning towards, seeing as it's 20 to 7 at night on a Friday. That is the way I'm leaning towards. Um, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. But yeah, it's just... We weren't too bad, I suppose. We turned up at um, quarter past four, we turned up at. So, two and a half hours, pretty much. It's pretty standard. Like I said, it was, it was bound to be three hours, give or take, maybe four, if it's really bad. Um, but all things considering, two and a half hours isn't actually that bad, to be honest. Like, it could be, it could be, it could be easily a lot worse, a lot longer. So we'll take that. We will take that. We've got our paperwork. This is going to be delivered on Monday now. It won't be delivered today. It was never going to be delivered today. Um, so, yeah, it's going to go to Stonehouse Muller. Normally it's an 8 o'clock delivery, so we haven't even got to leave that early. Monday morning, maybe half past six, something like that. So, not too shabby. Right, so just around the corner from the yard now. This GoPro dash cam wise is about to die, so it could end any minute on the dash cam, and then you'll be stuck with the face one. Um, yeah, we're just around the corner from the yard now. I have just phoned my boss, but he's not answering. Don't blame him, it is seven o'clock at night, but he does have drivers still working, so um, I need to know, well, I don't need to know, but it'd be nice to know what truck I'm in on Monday, because I've driven three different trucks this week, and uh, if I'm in this one Monday, what's the point in taking all my stuff out? Um, and if I'm in my truck, I'd like to take it out and put it in. Or at least put it in my car, one or the other. But, I don't know. I think at this rate, it's just going to probably go in my car. But it'd just be nice to have some clarity. Um, I've called him once, he didn't answer. I'm not going to bother him again. Yeah, it's just been one of those weeks. 
when nothing's gone right. <laughs> if something could go wrong, it has gone wrong. But what can you do about it? Oh, uh, yeah, there is people there. Right, all parked up. Uh, we are back in G14 for Monday. The boss is going to couple it up for us. It's actually still in the unit. Um, but I put all my stuff in there ready to go, so that's good. I was worrying a little bit about what truck I was in and when I was going to move it all over, but I've done it now, so good to go for Monday. Noisy buggers. Uh, so yeah, just walk in back to my car. And here she is. Love my car. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Give me some comments as well if you want to hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. And I will see you soon.